gonna run me down with that thing! Not that you run fast enough, you rotten fool! Now, let's have a conversation! I'm sorry, no constructive. Let's have a constructive conversation. Has my work been splitting? Oh no, I... I just failed to improve it! Thank God you came when you did. I didn't realise he was patriotic like that. Look, I'm, I'm doing a newspaper story uh, about how well you're all holding up down here. I think I've read that article a few times. How well are you holding up down here? On good days, we get more things working than break down. And on bad days? Like today, look, there's a big electronic board down there. Tells us what's broken. Ironically, that works perfect. Here's a diagram. Oh. Look, it's time for my tea break. ta -ra! This isn't a diagram. It's a letter. A permanent solution. Again? What kind of permanent solution is he thinking of? Whatever it is, I bet that's what got Gemma taken away by the doctors. permanent solution. Again? A shot grenade? I wonder if that's what I need to kill this berserk tea kettle.
who hasn't eaten a yummy dandelion salad? Clover has a lovely lemony taste. If you need it warm, like all proper English food, it's much better if you boil it for at least half an hour. Chicory is best known. It is now time for a mandatory employee rest period. Please exit the vehicle immediately. No one saw me hide. I bet I could stay here forever. At least until I starved to death.
their last name. Well, you've made your bed, Arthur, haven't you? Did you hear something? Come out, come... You won't get away with this! <laughs> Black dog! That's for knocking down my blocks in kindergarten. Snug as a bug on a drug. <laughs> I wish I kept in shape. Oof. Jesus. Oh my God. <sighs> bloody hell. Oh, bloody hell. Lovely day for it. Lovely day for it.
save a bit for the next minute. Oh, Welcome to News Hour. All sorts of amazing things have been going on in the world. I'm sure you must be as excited as I am to know about them. You may be surprised to know that. about this later. <laughs> I can't keep doing this. Terribly busy. What is it? Gem has been taken away. I saw two doctors shove her into a popper. Oh, my goodness. Why? But she was digging into the tunnels. That didn't come out right. I, I, I followed up. The whole underground is sort of falling apart. Oh my! That's why you sent her, wasn't it? Not to write about the tunnel rats. I certainly couldn't print a story like that, could I? The joy's gone bad, and Dr. Verloc knows. But he's telling them not to worry. He's got some sort of permanent solution. That doesn't sound ominous at all. Well, that's sort of exactly what I thought. If I had a press pass, I could get into Hayworth Labs. And my old adulator, if you still got it. After what happened to Gemma? Dr. Verloc, he's sort of his own law there. I have some personal business there. If I'm not here when you get back, if you found something out, see if you can't publish it. Those numpties out there know how to put the ink on the page, but the only articles they ever read are their own. You're getting out? How? Oh, I wouldn't even know how to get out. But you never know when I might stop printing lies. And they won't like that. Great. I've got all my press stuff back. That ought to be handy. You can show up all sorts of places regular people shouldn't go. citizens should feel even safer on our streets. <sighs> How did they guys to run a hundred bases? Thank you. 
Maybe I should sit down for a bit. What's your pleasure, then? What's your fancy? Just looking. He does love to be in the papers, they're right on in. I told him the labs was on lockdown. They don't listen anymore. Well, you certainly laid out a convincing argument. Where do you think you're going then? We're not open to the general public. Bugger off! I'm interviewing Dr. Verloc. Ah, you're a member of the Fourth Estate. You've come at an awkward time, you see, as we're just in the middle of, uh... Well, there's been a bit of excitement in the lab. Best come back tomorrow. You're not saying something's gone wrong? No, of course not. Everything's peachy. Look, all right, you take your press pass up to Helen in public relations. Just, uh, follow the sort of brown-coloured line. I must ask you not to stray from the path, because there's all sorts of delicate machinery and chemicals and whatnot, and we don't want you hurting yourself, do we? What sort of crisis makes them lock down the entire factory? workers here will have the same respect for a press pulse as the bobbies did. You are not authorized. Please clear the area immediately. I'll be back in a jiff. A 
hadn't smoked in high school, I could carry a bit more. the closing doors, please. Please stand by for decontamination. Product purity is our highest goal at Hayworth Labs. The decontamination procedure allows us to maintain the highest standard of purity. I'm so glad they're concerned about purity. You have been decontaminated. Please proceed into the lab. Do not! Turn down the heat on the brominating reaction until you've noted the temperature curve. Not a bit. I need to determine the explosive threshold temperature. Never mind. Just graph the temperature curve and pop it in the pneumatic. Oh, and I want samples of
to each other. Chivalrous turning off that dangerous steam. If that is indeed what I did. sneak past these gents without a fuss. Dr. 
Dr. Verlock would like all personnel to know that he must not be disturbed for the next hour at least. Please hold all inquiries until then. Resolve the situation yourself. I guess this is the latest test formula. I think I'll just take this with me. Evidence or something. Permanent solution. Drive the subject insane. Oh lord. A big red button. I wonder what it opens. <laughs> I feel rather brilliant right now. Can't we just agree to disagree?
funny. Suddenly I remember that time I threatened to thrash Timmy Hargreaves because he said rotten things about Sally, and it turned out he had an older brother who'd been in the army, and he was waiting for me on my doorstep when I came home from school. And he gave me such a thrashing. Why would I remember that right now? was in on the scheme. No. Wait. She's being very nice about him, but she's not at all on board, is she? Hmm. The salamander seems to think Veloc's solution is a tad rash. Well, it's alarming, given what she considers reasonably cautious. Dr. Verloc is thinking very hard, sir. No visitors. The brominating reaction has caught fire. Sir, sorry to bother you, sir, but there's a fellow here says the reaction tank is on fire again. I said no interruptions. Some of the byproducts are poisonous. He says it's poisonous, sir. Of course there are poisonous byproducts. Tell him to do whatever they did the last time. Dr. Verloc would like you to do whatever you did the last time. No one knows that. He's an imposter. Implement security protocol 187. Oh, yes, sir. That's my favorite protocol. I am full of the fury of the Lord, and I am right weary with holding back. <gasps> right. Now. You shall drink the wine of God's wrath, poured into the cup of his anger! You shall be tormented with fire and sulphur in the presence of the Lamb! The Lord judgeth thee, and he is angry every day! <laughs> You shall drink the wine of God's wrath, poured into the cup of his anger! Do we really have to do this? Oh, you're not a bloody mule. Pick what you can carry easily.
take all this with you? take these all the time and I wouldn't have any worries. Oh. Remember the train, Arthur. his face. test done on the latest Isima. Now, where is it? Why is it not in the pneumatic? Do any of you want to keep your jobs? I'll have you all replaced by Mrs. Pankhurst's Bridge Club. I'll do a better job than you people. Look at him! Thank God! 
don't even want to be here. Just relax. Don't question it. Stuff. You better throw something away before something starts chasing you. Phrenology? Was that supposed to be ironic? Is that an original? 